Hey, welcome everybody. Welcome back to Ton Ton Review. And today I have a brand new figure to show you. This is somewhat of a special figure. So here we have the Studio Series G1 Hot Rod from the Transformer first movie in 1986. And here we have Hot Rod at his vehicle mode, which is a Cybertronian sport car, I assume, because I don't remember that movie too much of a clear. And I must say that judging from this vehicle mode, I think they have done an amazing job at recapturing what he looks like in the movie with all of this really nice color. This is more like a plum color with some orange highlight painted as the headlight. We got some flame on top of it and the Autobot logos, which is really iconic. Across in the vehicle mode, we got some silver part, which is mimics the engine and the tailpipe of him, which is really nice. And they got painted in a silver metallic paint, which is, I really adore that details. And of course, Hot Rod wouldn't be Hot Rod without his giant yellow fin onto the back. And I must say, this is really nice. And if you look closely, there are a lot of details. So this is a good opportunity for panel lining if you are looking forward to highlight this detail up. Up from that, we got a clear blue, clear blue piece of windshield. And if you look from this, you can see a lot of line as well. And you can see his head over there, which is okay to me. So all the plum color onto the windshields are painted. and they match the color of the plastic perfectly and I really enjoyed that, that aspect of the figures. Flipping him around, as you can see, this is somewhat of a very clear RV mode because we don't see that many robot cables underneath and I really enjoyed that aspect of him. The ties, however, are fully plastic and they're done in a black plastic with some silver paint on the uh, front tires but onto the bottom they are unpainted, I guess because we have some really long tailpipe onto it and they feel like yeah let's just skip that and otherwise than that they roll perfectly well and i really enjoy this aspect of him size comparison wise here we have hot rod next to earthrise optimus so as you can see their scale are perfectly fine i really enjoy having this guy next to one another and next up we have hot rod next to studio series optimus and as you can see the scale are quite okay in my taste. I don't have too many complaints about that. And as you can see, of course, Prime is somewhat still longer than Hot Rod. But I think that is fine because he is supposed to be a bigger figure. So moving on, here we have Hot Rod next to Wheeljack. And I must say, I love placing these two guys next to another because they are the perfect sport car team to, in my opinion. And the look of them just great. The size are somewhat different because actually Wheeljack is longer than Hot Rod in the vehicle mode. And I think that is because of the transformation gimmick. But anyway, that is still fine to me. Now let's get to transformation. To begin with the transformation, first get to the back and split out this half. That is as, as your trial section. So you're gonna bring up this whole section up and you can rotate it around and that could be the back of Hot Rod. And you see this tailpipe section over here, split them open, that will separate the arms of the leg. And now you can start bringing it out and start forming the leg. Bring the feet out and this is going to be closed in like that and close it fully in. That is one leg, we have another one. close high in the tires and close up and we are done with the leg section and as you can see over here just rotate it around like that now we're gonna handle this part first open it out that will reveal the head bring the head out and at this point here you want to work with this section this will be the arms and the shoulder bringing this tab out and you can bring these two pieces in and take out the arms and rotate them forward and at this point you could just going to be a little bit careful this is on the mushroom joint so you can actually start rotating this whole section 180 like that and then you can collapse the whole thing in 
bring it down and clips the whole thing together and you can come back here and you see this tab and this section just tap it in just like that and this will handle the rest of the arm just splitting rotating that and you can start opening out this section over here and rotate the hands out and we're done so here we have hot rod in his robot mode and i must say this is a very satisfied transforming sequences this is a brand new mode and i really glad that they have done this guy just it i really enjoyed him as a figure and i didn't expect to see that kind of transformation at this size he's a generally a scaled down masterpiece but i must say a better version of the masterpiece gimmick because what we got here is a slick yet dynamic backpack not that much and full of characteristic figures and i really enjoyed him about this to me this will be my favorite hot rod figures from now on at least that we don't count the first studio series hot rod which is kind of sad in my opinion and enough of that i think now we should get into the details and to see what that this guy gives us let's go to begin with the details on these figures first let's show you the head and this head is clearly a resemblance of hot rod not yet rodimus we still got that young american super teenager boy heroes vibe a little bit stubborn a little bit of courage and determination which i am really impressed in my opinion this face cop is excellent you can see his eyes and his feelings really well and along with the head sculpt you still got some little, a little bit of silver paint onto the top of his head revealing his nice details and if you actually look at this there are two colors over here one is a darker plum red and the other is a lighter tone with the oral figures and to be honest with you guys i'm really impressed by this head sculpt and what can be impressed more upon that give him more stuff on the head i will show you that first open out this section now at this point you will see his eyes they are painted in a really bright blue color and i absolutely adore this detail of him and now you can flip out this section this section and close it back and there you got hot rod with his glasses on and it is really hard to see his eyes from this angle perfectly describe what a sunglass are supposed to do which is hide away your eyes and now enough with the head let's get down to the bodies of him and this is still really nice subtle details of him i absolutely enjoy the flame on his chest that is a really focusing character's design onto him and now for some comparison i'm gonna bring in the masterpiece for you to see and as you can see the flames on the studio story version is much better i mean the overall chest is better than the masterpiece the reason for that would be that the chest of the masterpiece is actually a flat piece but then with the studio series version, we got some dimension over here. And to be honest with you guys, this impressed me more than what the masterpiece provided me a few years ago. And up to now, I'm not, I'm not sure what I feel about this guy anymore. But another lacking part that the studio series doesn't have is that the headlight of the masterpiece actually sculpted details and painted gold. But then here the masterpiece, they are flat. However, for the overall feelings of the figures, I still highly recommend. And of course, evaluate higher than the masterpiece version this is a studio series version and now let's move to, to the arms of him and as you can see this is still a normal basic hot rod arms but this time with a more dimension to be honest with you guys i prefer the shorter stack of this guy than the masterpiece version because to me the shorter stack it means that it looks stronger and for some reason my masterpiece got paint tripped over this smokestack i hope that won't have be happening with my studio series version and one more thing i like about the arms more than the masterpiece it will be the top section this section over here they got painted it really nicely highlighting the details unlike the masterpiece version it is just a piece of plastic which is i don't think it's painted and if you look other than that if you look at the details over here you can see that the bicep of this section of the studio series version got some panel lining opportunities 
and that is really helps making the figures look a lot more detailed unlike the masterpiece which is plain and simple at this point I don't feel like worth it to call the masterpiece is actually a masterpiece transformer now moving down to the black section of this guide of course the continuation of the details of the panel lines are going through here at this point I'm not sure that if I'm holding a studio series figures or a siege slash earthrise slash kingdom figures anymore because they are really nice this is the perfect mixture of both these lines together you got that nice finishing touch of the studio series version and you got a lot a lot of many panel lining opportunities a lot of details from the earthrise slash siege slash kingdom version and of course you still got that really nice hot rod vibe being the leg section kind of like a boot a cowboy boot if you look the color and i enjoy that I absolutely enjoy that of him and what another thing I wanted to mention about the leg section is how perfectly engineered this is uh, I know that a lot of you co comment down on my Instagram about my teasing post is that I transformed the leg wrong yeah I admit that was my fault I'm sorry about that but then I transformed him again and I was really surprised about how fit this whole design is everything fit together perfectly and this is over a really solid figures with a small backpack I'm gonna bring in the masterpiece backpack for you to see. Oh my god, look at this too. How the can the bigger one called a masterpiece? Why he got a bigger backpack but the same vehicle mode? I'm not gonna lose it again at the Ratchet video, so that is it for now. And now let's get to accessories. Accessory wise, this is a really heavily accessorized figure. Of course, we still got two of his signature blaster and they are really nice except for the fact that they are painted in red for the handles I mean they're not they will be fine in displaying holding it but to me this is kind of odd they could went through the trouble of painting this but then I think why not paint the rest anyway they are greatly detailed it. nice scope I enjoy that moving on next up we got an effect part which is done in a nice clear blue color this is the same kind of effect you get on the uh, Lightning Collection Power Rangers line the same kind of effect which is really nice this is Mimic the Gun Blast and you can easily attach it like that and you got a pew pew effect but it's more kind of a hollow blade to me don't know why moving on next up we got his buzzsaw which is the same really nice detail but it could this thing would be easy to break so do be careful handling this from this because it is kind of easy to break I'm gonna mention that right away but anyway it looks nice full of characteristic I enjoy that the next accessories is quite odd because as you know we have two primes and which is Optimus and Sentinel yes we have five figures and yet none of them came with a matrix of leadership but now here we have hot rod not yet Rodimus but then we still got a matrix of leadership and of course this is nothing new this is the same matrix you got with the Earthrise Optimus so it's basically the same piece but then what's special is that this effect over here the lightning effect to attach it you're gonna simply plug this onto him and you got a you got the touch moment and of course you can handle link this to bring in the masterpiece Megatron and Hot Rod and as you can see the reason for bringing this two guys together is I want to show you how their scaling works because I'm gonna recreating the because I know that a lot of you would want to recreate the, that iconic Megatron holding Hot Rod hostage scene so up now you can see Hot Rod is nearly onto the chest of Megatron and I'm gonna bring in the Siege Megatron versus the Studio Series Hot Rod right now 
and as you can see, the scaling works perfectly. Hot Rod stands just onto the verge of Megatron chest, just like the Masterpiece version. And I really enjoy this detail over here. And now here we have Hot Rod next to two Optimus. This is one is the Studio Series version, and one is the Earthrise. And as you can see, that is still perfectly nice. I enjoy their scaling, and they look great. There are many discussions on the internet at this moment that whether this guy is a Deluxe, a Voyager, or a Leader class. And at this point, you're seeing the comparison between a Leader and a Deluxe. But then again, this is a Voyager Optimus. So my conclusion is, this guy is a Leader. The reason why is that he got a, that amount of details and he got that many accessories beautifully done. And of course, the exclusive one will be the Matrix effect parts. Because I don't think that they're gonna sell that effects part anywhere else beside this figure right here. So that I think this is enough reason for them to make it a leader class. Articulation beginning with the head. He can look up that far and dot too many down. Full 360 rotation. He's on the bow joint. Arms can move out. Full do rotation. It kind of limited because of the fin, but I don't think that will be a problem. And of course, he got some butterfly joint, which is kind of impressive. You got a elbow band and a bicep swivel also. The arms, you got a hand rotation. And the fingers are open just like with the Earthrise Optimus, which is able to, for you to hold the matrix. You got a waist swivel, full rotation, no blocking. And the leg is also very impressive. Kick to the front, my bad kick to the back kind of limited but then you got a full split which is nice Dub biceps up uh, thigh swivel double back double jointed knee which is really nice you got no toe you got some toe band and you got a pivot articulation on this guy is decent as you would expect it from a child of studio series and earthrise and in my opinion, this guy is a really worth it figure to add onto your collection. And this also concludes my theory is that they're gonna release the movie, the G1, as on for the characters that do not appear on the Earthrise or Kingdom cartoon or whatever. So that could be my review for Hot Rod today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like and share. And if you are new to my channel, feel free to give it a subscribe and ring the bell for upcoming first in the world Transformer figures. And if you feel like you can help me out with the future figures, feel free to buy me a coffee. Link is down there in the description and follow me on Instagram. That is where I do most of my poses. And that could be it for today, guys. Ton ton out.